My name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. Are you considering the Starlink 50 gigabyte per month program? Or maybe you already have it. And you're wondering how to keep your data under control and still live your life the way you want to. If you have, you're in the right spot. I've been traveling the country for the past 45 days using Starlink Mini every day on the 50 gig per month program. This program has been specific to just Starlink Mini users, but they've just opened it up to all Starlink users. I want to share some lessons learned that I've discovered the hard way to help you avoid making my mistakes. All right, let's get to it. First thing you need to know is how to actually see how much data you're actually using. So for that, let's hop in the app real quick and take a peek at things. We go into the Starlink software. Very important, you need to be signed in. So that little person icon up there in the corner, that'll take you to your sign in screen. Then you'll be able to have the manage mobile data button. I go into that. You can either opt in or opt out using this switch here. Opting in means you're selecting that you want to pay $1 per gigabyte for going over that 50 gig mark. As you can see for this month, I am well over that. I'm already at 73 gigs. This is how to cut your data and live your lifestyle, not how to not go online. I'm working and living on the road. I'm going to use data. I just think I'll use less than I would pay with the unlimited plan. Now that you actually know how to see how much data you're using, let's look at some ways that you can reduce that number down. So the very first mistake I found myself making was I'd be up in my tent before bed watching YouTube videos and I fell right asleep. Wake up hours later, many, many videos later of just wasted data. So if that's you, well, here's what you can do. So open up your Starlink software Go under settings, then we select Starlink, sleep schedule, make sure it's enabled with that button up at the top and adjust the times to what makes sense for you. When you're done, you hit save and you're good to go. And here's another useful tip. While you're watching videos, you can actually go in, hit this little gear icon. That'll take you to settings, go under quality, and you turn it to whatever quality setting you want to. That'll help save you a little data, especially if you end up watching 4K video. That can start eating away at your data pretty quickly. If you're enjoying this content, hey, let me know. Smash that like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that, you know, this is content that people are finding useful. Here's another tip. Before you head to the great outdoors, go ahead and update every app that you need. Make sure your phone software, iPad, you know, everything is all up to date while you're not paying for that data. That'll save you quite a bit of download data. Now here's another tip. Turn automatic updates off. Turn them off on your computers, phones, everything. You need to control when that update happens because if you get a major system update, that can eat up gigs like crazy. So Turn it off and make the decision when you want to on how to update it. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you want to see info on more Starlink testing in the wild, check this video out up here. Till next time, enjoy the ride.